we've observed a lot of very special ed driving today, and we would Shame like to we would like to thank the Department of Licensing <laughs> for awarding driver's licenses to people who are clearly unfit to pilot vehicles safely, especially those who moved to America over the age of 40 who had no prior driving experience. Well done, DOL. I want to give you three golden stars for that one. That's three golden stars. Three fallacious. That's right. Well done. Absolutely well done. Subaru doesn't work, so I modified this electrical connection down here into this, which is connected to this battery over here. So, the DC from the battery comes out of here and then forms a socket like this. And this is artificially creating an outlet like a car, and that is the Garmin adapter right here, which is then feeding power up to the GPS, which apparently has 10 foot accuracy uh, at the moment, which is remarkable for. GPS, generally speaking, I can see that on the screen there we go. There it is. All the satellites are viewable from this location. Interesting. Meg is retrieving a healthy snack. We've stopped at the Ginkgo Petrified Forest here. We're gonna take a look. Which one do you want? The forbidden fruit. It's this way over here to the petrified logs. Are you videoing me? Meg's hydrating. munching on a nectarine. I'm eating a nectarine. Mm. Thanks to Meg who washed them and prepared them and bought them and I planned all the food for this trip. That's right. Well, we're on the paved trail here of the Ginkgo Petrified Forest. We don't see anything petrified yet, so we're going to continue and see if we can find some petrified stuff over this way. Canadians had something to do with it. There's one maple in there. <laughs> well, there's more. There's more? There's a gated one here and then over here. Ah. Sadly, these tree pieces committed crimes, so they've been imprisoned in these rock and steel traps. We don't want them going anywhere. Well, actually, That's right. An asshole would steal it. That's right. They would turn it into an ornament for their fireplace, so... Yes. And on this episode of How to Speak English, Meg is going to explain how to mix L's and R's. Not when you're videoing. Here we have another piece of gigantic petrified Douglas fir. Yeah. It's inevitable. They had to put it in a cage to keep the bad people from taking it. Kim Jong Il told me that. Aaron, knock it off. Meg doesn't think my English is professional enough for the video. It's a spruce. It's a spruce, not Bruce. It's a spruce. It's very pretty. There it is. Number four, spruce. It's more like saying hello, really, because if you're just walking past someone, you can't actually stop and have a deep conversation about the philosophy behind how you actually are doing. I'm going to do a barrel time lapse through the opening here. Oh, okay. The sign over this entry could mean many things. That's funny. 
You can actually see the rings in this one. Look at this. It's a water fountain. It's petrified wood tile. That doesn't look like it's been used recently. <laughs> Nick thought this was interesting how the spider webs have completely entangled this evergreen shrub here. You can see they've made quite a nesting spot. Just kidding. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. To you. Happy birthday. To you. Happy birthday. To my errand. Where it's illegal to stop or park. You have to keep going on this stretch between these rock canyon walls here. This is the one he's talking about. No stopping. Except in this zone no right parking. here. No parking. We just drove by one of the signs. No, oh. no stopping or parking. RCW oh, 47.52. Oh boy. Yep. Would you like to say anything to the camera? I'm going to stop and I'm going to park. There you Eventually. Go. Just not on this roadway. We're not going forever. It can't go on forever. Stop it! No! Go ahead. I, I've got it rolling. Look at the windy road with the camera too. Check that out. So we're approaching the campsite. You have to drive down this quite craggly uh, improvised road surface and it's a windy road for three miles. I would be I would be amazed if this park is actually busy. If you look at it on a map using Google Images, the park is not that big. And we saw two big vans full of church people and then like uh, nine private cars with more than three people in each car. And if you look at the size of the campsite in the next seat, you'll see why I'm amazed at this. But maybe I'll be amazed. Who knows? Wow, we made it all the way to Arizona. <laughs> wow. Isn't that cool? Happy birthday to you. Yeah. yeah. Hello. Hello. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. What do I see? I lost track of my thoughts. What are you looking oh, at? Down here, they, they have a trail that looks highly dangerous. All the way to... That looks too sketchy, by the way. There's a sketchy trail. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? The That's the focus light. Labor Day, happy birthday. We had steak we cooked on a miniature skillet earlier. I'll, I'll, I'll make a little photograph action of that. And I can't make, light the candle because it's too windy. It's really windy. You can hear it buffeting in the, in the film here. It's right there. There it goes. Well, it's low light. This here is the camp stove. This is the cast iron griddle we used on. is extracting some dessert action over here. That's our tent. Oh, it's crushed. It, it got crushed and bobbled a little bit, but we can Happy see here there's... Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. You have an Alaskan silk pie, salted caramel pie, and... I can't read the other one. Parisian star chocolate hazelnut cake slice. There they are. Look at that. They That's were prettier when I bought them. Fancy. They've been traveled on. Just a bit. Just four hours worth. No, not too bad. Steve's blueberry pomegranate tea. Meg's having one too.
Yum. And we're going to have some cow products for breakfast here. <laughs> Something a vegan actually at PCC in Issaquah once accosted me when she saw me trying to buy this very product here of a different flavor. She came up and told me of the horrible specter which cows are subjected to for agriculture. Ironically, Meg and I saw some concentrated animal feedlots on our way over. Sadly. Sadly. Um, to which I can, I can understand why she would disagree with something like that. But people have been harvesting milk from cows for non-violent forms of uh, dairy products for millennia. And there's absolutely no reason not to enjoy the kefir. This is our camp here, number three. And as you can see, as we predicted on our way in, <clears throat> because the holiday occurred yesterday, other than the one nice group of people we encountered, there's literally nobody here. Don't which... forget the, the jerks who showed up at midnight made a bunch of noise, woke us up. Yes. Unfortunately, we had an incident last night. Three bimbos in a blue 2007 Toyota Prius showed up at midnight, didn't pay, opened their car doors 15 or 20 times, made all kinds of noise, had flashlights, were blaring them all over the place, then woke up at 7 and opened and closed their car doors, unpacked all their breakfast cooking gear, then put it all back and then drove off and then came down. Just cat-brained engineering 101. It was quite a specter. Now have a look here at the sun. Can you see how the smoke particulate is actually completely obscuring it to the point of being easily viewable? It's a dumpster and some uh, porta potties. And here is a very nicely engineered male and female bathroom. Some hiking trails that go out to the ledge that overlooks the falls over on this way. September 5th, 2017. We met a guy named Mick last night and he warned us that it is a rattlesnake area right here. He was out hunting them. Meg has discovered two beetles mating. Here. And for your viewing pleasure, <laughs> check it out. It's the Discovery Channel. Not sure smart water is an apt term for the person who left this here. Windblown make. Okay, 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 stop. Let me go closer here. Please. It's a 
funnel that goes down into the leg of the the table so I can crawl up, snag something, and then go back down. There's a burn ban in effect, so we couldn't use this fire pit over here, but not for a loss. We had a little propane stove. The Palouse Falls State Park. A small patch of green amongst an otherwise rocky patch. That's Meg. She spotted that bit of green down there. Manufactured a twig pagoda. Using a triangular pattern. Like so. It's not strong. This is purely biological art here. Fully compostable. Emitting from a debris pile. Like this. And like that. A little watermelon, some sucky colored pencils, and a coloring book. Got the little waterproof W90 Pentax here shooting a time lapse of this action here. We have one iPhone there charging through this here orange solar panel. I know it's white and black, but it's cold and orange. <laughs> we made it! Hybrid. This is Mama right bouncing around more, and they're all chasing her.
Washtukna? Yeah, Washtukna, right there. Washtukna. Go ahead, zoom in. Other people can give their opinion. Is Wash... Washtukna. Some kind of wreckage strewn all about the side of the hill there. Metallic debris from some kind of train disaster or something. Here, sheer wall. Wait, look at that hillside with the rocks. Yeah, look at the beautiful rock wall right there. Mm, look up. Meg thinks this yellowy green sage brush here is really pretty. Isn't that right, Meg? Yeah. Meg spotted this extremely unusual license plate right here. September 6th. It is 7.46 a.m. <laughs> Got a low haze obscured sun in the sky and a waterfall. We have entered downtown Walla Walla here. It is 9.50 in the morning. And we are going to try a local bakery called the Maple something or other. The Maple Counter Cafe. The Maple Counter Cafe. There it is. Right across the street. Theme walls and um, a gift shop in the entry. That's the make here. We're having uh, coffee and orange juice here. Excellent. Got a uh, French toast here operation, some syrup in the middle, and they got a tall stack of pancakes because I promised to eat some. And the service was super friendly and awesome fast. This place is getting an expert review online. Well, that was fantastic. Meg's um, getting a pound of Walla Walla roastery coffee here. The coffee was fantastic, the orange juice was good, the water tastes good, the food was delicious, and the help was super friendly. Awesome. Well, well done. Okay. Okay. It's your film debut on YouTube. Oh. Yes. You're such a nice dog. Hi, Penny. You're such a nice Maggie. Hi, Maggie. Hi, Penny. Hello. It's okay, I'm okay. You're a nice dog. Ah, 
I just gotta wait till it boils. All right. Okay. Did you just say you love the smell of tomatoes? Of the tomato leaves. <laughs> oh, it smells good. Mm. I think most people don't realize you can... don't think about smelling tomato leaves, but they smell good, especially if you just lightly rub them. Just going crazy. How many people are you supposed to be in here? Get, get over here. Get, no, you're not supposed to take a picture. Getting our picture taken. Well, that's okay. Anyway. I, we know that you might have Three, two, one. All right, how about one more? <laughs> Three, two, one. Okay. I have it. Well, take it easy going home now. Thank you, Jim. Appreciate that.